Greenwich is a town in southeast London, England. It is beautiful, historic, and buzzing area of London. And there's absolutely loads to do there, so let's have a tour. First on the list is the Royal Observatory. The clock that you can see is the Shefford Gate clock. It is known as a sympathetic clock because it depends on another clock inside the main observatory building for its accuracy. It has 24 hours on its face rather than the usual 12 hours. In the Royal Observatory, you can overlook the beautiful Greenwich Town and the Queen's House. When you're there, don't forget to see the Camera Obscura. It projects a close-up real-time panorama of the Queen's House. The line in Greenwich represents the historic prime meridian of the world, longitude 0 degrees. Every place on Earth was measured in terms of its distance, east or west from this line. The line itself divided the eastern and western hemispheres of the Earth, just as the equator divides the northern and southern hemispheres. If you stand with one foot on one side and the other one on the left, you are perfectly in the middle of east and west, according to the prime meridian line. So what's inside of the old Royal Observatory? Let's have a look. This Royal Observatory played a major role in the history of astronomy and navigation. It is the home of time and space, the prime meridian, and Greenwich Mean Time or GMT. Ita ang ko ay motana. What is yung <laughs> okay, we had so much fun there. Little people problems, would you say? So this one is written in different languages. It's nice even though I can't understand them. <laughs> and collections of watches, clocks, and other devices to measure time. Seeing these vintage sundials reminds me of how lucky we are now. Hey, Jonathan! Then I see you. Do my thing, okay? And now let's see the Great Equatorial Telescope. It is the 28-inch Greenwich Refracting Telescope. It is the largest of its kind in the UK and the seventh largest in the world. When you finish the tour, make sure that you go to their shop because there's loads of fascinating items there. Totoong clock. It's pang alarm din siya, di ba? Get six pounds. To eight pounds. First, maganda yan. Maganda to. Gistonio, para sa atin to gistonio. Tapat pag ano, alis pag nagta travel kayo, may ganyan kayo. Pag ano? Pag ano? Pag ano? 25 pounds. Tapos ilagay mo lang tubig pala, no? Ay! Ay! Telescope talaga siya! Oo! Ay! Ay! Gulat mo kasi tura! Akala ko kasi laruan lang! Pati ito o! Sa balit na ito o! Kaso pangit! Pangit yun! Pati nga! Ay! Telescope ka! Siya nakakatuwa! Babs bilang kita pero ganito lang! Yung mura lang! Magkano ito? 
Gis. Gis. Yan. Gis to. Okay. After the observatory, don't forget to take time to appreciate the magnificent view from the top of this hill. It is one of the best in Greenwich. From Royal Observatory, go straight to Maritime Museum which only takes 10 to 15 minutes walk. In my opinion, going there during autumn is just a perfect timing to tranquil stroll. Oh. My hands are sanitized. The National Maritime Museum was opened to the public on 27 of April 1937 by King George VI. The museum building began life in 1807 as a school for the children for seafarers. It holds massive collections which includes almost 2.5 million items related to UK's history on the sea. <laughs> you are yet to fully understand. Excuse me, but who are you? This one is stained glass window from the Baltic Exchange. It represents belief in God, the virtue of faith. The museum explores the naval and maritime history of Britain, which was for centuries one of the world's leading sea powers. The exhibition showcases everything from real-life vessels and model ships to nautical instruments, objects, manuscripts, and maritime theme artworks from the likes of J.M.W. Turner. In this section of Tudor and Stewart seafarers, you would be able to find out how the world was mapped. So, what can you say about the museum? Serious, <laughs> yeah. Okay, here we are now in polar worlds, which include science, exploration, and life in extreme environments. Year 1910, sleeping bug. This gallery looks at the challenges of Arctic and Antarctic exploration and explores the impact of climate change on human lives. It's Seriously, yo. <laughs> I'm 
Bye bye. See you later. Bye. Who would you like to be? Captain Helsman, Chief Officer, Second Mate, Look Out. Look Out! Para nasa ba sa ulang? What? <laughs> and there's a place for the little ones wherein they can play. I've been to a lot of museums and it's my first time seeing a parking area for kids trolley. It's just so convenient for the parents. As part of the National Maritime Museum's commemoration of World War I, this new gallery explores the naval and maritime dimensions of that conflict. The Forgotten Fighters, the First World War at Sea. Next is Queen's House, which is just beside of National Maritime Museum. A visit to the Queen's House is a must as part of any day out in Greenwich. Can you enlarge them on the side? Yes, yes of course. This house was commissioned by Queen Anne of Denmark, the wife of James I. It is now the home of international renowned art collection. Inside the house, you'll find impressive Great Hall. It is perfectly proportioned cube that has a striking marble floor with a black and white geometric design originally laid in 1635. In the house, there's so many rooms, such as the headmaster's library, the headmaster's drawing room, assistant master's library, the assistant master's drawing room, The king's bedroom chamber, king's anteroom, king's. Tas na ceiling and all kings. <laughs> and as well as for the queen's bedroom chamber, anteroom, ante chamber, all rooms, and room and room. The bridge room. Queen's bed chamber. Closet. And lastly, the iconic elegant tulip stairs, the first geometric soft supporting spiral stairs in Britain. Let's go! It's beautiful. So, yeah, enjoy the rest of your time. Thank, Thank you. you. Let's go to Kati Sark. From Queen's House, walk to Kati Sark. It only takes 7 minutes. This is also the way going to Painted Hall in Old Royal Naval College. But we didn't go there because we need to pay the entrance fee. See the description for more details. Ang <laughs> yeah. 
Tangdutuan. Tangdutuan. Seeing these foods while walking gives me energy to walk. Weird. <laughs> Come aboard to Kati Sark. Kati Sark, the celebrated historic sailing ship in fastest of its time, now an award winning visitor attraction in Greenwich, London. This ship was built in Dumbarton, Scotland in 1869, designed to carry tea from China to England as fast as possible. The advent of Katisar X teenagers marked her most successful phase as a working cargo ship transporting wool from Australia. Master's love. Lime juice. Snacks. The grugit. Siko. Biscuits. At rang sa injuries. What for dinner? Potato pie. Weekday. Tea soup. <laughs> Certificate of discharge. It's lovely on the main deck. I can guarantee that. Enough with the Titanic, let's go inside! Hindi ka mo makakabu, ano? Una niyan? Dito na ang anong higaan. Ay, bumbahan pa pala dyan. Ay, ang bigat! Manok yan, kung hindi nyo makita. <laughs> Grabe din! Kati Sark Near this spot, Captain James Wallace committed suicide by stepping over the rail in night of September 1880. What an idiot! <laughs> Kompas yan, kung hindi nyo nakikita. Oo, oh, kompas siya. Let's go inside. Okay. Ito pala kalit ng daanan sa barko. <laughs> Master's cabin. <laughs> Toilet. Burger steak. Kumain sila ng burger steak. Second mate. Ito siguro yung ano yung mga 
yung nasa high rank kasi yung unang mga yung sobrang liit first may may, may pa sila tingnan mo sa ating phone nung sumakapal ay mas mataas yung rank ko nila dito in word Underneath the Katisar, there's a restaurant and more activities for children. Talking hot. <laughs> And we leave Greenwich by using cable car. I'll make a full review for the Emirates airline cable car transport for London soon. Along the south bank, if you can imagine another three and a half meters of concrete structure. Autumn whispered to the wind, I fall, but always rise again. <laughs> 